throw anything on their head or face region. Um, so he's, he's aces in my book. I agree with you, Christina. It just looked like it was such great Didn't shape, he? right? Really healthy. Really, really oh. healthy. No split ends. He's taking biotin supplements, I think, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> we need the tips for sure. There's Galax, Virginia. There is Felt Spark. And yeah, they're getting ready to set up those holiday lights that have become so popular across the area. If you're getting in the mood for the holidays in Moxville coming up on Friday night, it is twas the night before bed races. Now, temperatures should be comfortable in the 60s, but we do have clouds. And yeah, there could be at least a little bit of patchy light rain around. So go ahead and plan on that possibility. I know we need the rain. We just don't want it to happen on all of these events, right? So we do have shower chances right now. The amounts remain pretty low leading up to that cloudy tomorrow. Cooler with temps in the 50s and then warming right back up into the 60s with some sunshine by Thursday. Right now we've got 55 degrees in Stokesdale. High points at 56. Pofftown at 56. Down in Liberty we're at 54 and in Lawsonville 59 degrees. Sliding over to the mountains where temperatures are also in the 50s. 58 in Mount Airy, 55 in Stewart and 49 in Sparta. Up. A lot of cloud cover coming in late today. Real thin clouds. They're going to lower. They're going to thicken. And it'll be pretty cloudy heading into tomorrow. Our temps remain pretty mild across the area, even warmer out to the west. And actually, that's the air that's going to come in here for Thursday. The air tomorrow is coming in from the north, so that's why we're going to be a little bit cooler. Plus, we've got some thicker clouds coming in as well. Unfortunately, not a lot of this, but they desperately need the rain down south, so we're happy to see it. It is going to stay to our south, though, at least with this run. We've got our next chance of rain coming in on Friday. Here's the map heading into Wednesday morning. You can see how the clouds do get thicker. We'll be in the low 40s, upper 30s as we start the day, and then for much of the day, it's a general overcast with an occasional little peak of sun. Temperatures will make it into the mid to upper 50s by late day. So a chilly start, you'll need those layers in the afternoon. You probably won't need as much, but maybe a light layer. High temperature about 58 and we've got light and variable winds tomorrow. For Wilkesboro, Yakinville, temperatures also into the upper 50s by late day with lots of clouds. In the mountains, we're going to see temps in the low 50s for most of the day with generally overcast skies. That next weather system I've been telling you about is kind of hung up right now, but it'll be on the move and should arrive here by late Friday into early Saturday. In the meantime, we dry out some on Thursday with temperatures in the upper 60s. By Friday morning, we've got the clouds around, perhaps a little bit of light rain and drizzle. There is a storm system down along the coast that's going to draw a lot of moisture away from us. As this front comes in Friday afternoon, you can see limited rain with it. Probably the best chance for rain is going to be mountains and foothills and late Friday, Friday night into very early Saturday morning and a lot of it drying up before it makes it into the Piedmont Triad. So rainfall totals are going to be light, it looks like, with this. Here's the seven day forecast. Remember, we've got a lot of holiday parades coming up this weekend. We've got High Point and Reedsville. That's Sunday afternoon where we've got 59 degrees and sunny skies. Thank you, Laney. Let's get one final check on traffic. Looks pretty good right here. I-40, Silas Creek.